Pips, if I go on the same. Boom. Hey, Pips, check in, testing one. And sir, not hearing anything. Um, can you hear me now? So on. Nothing? No so on? So I'll go on that Okay, yes. Oh, that's all like things are going on in our dance. <laughs> Better. Okay, cool now, cool now, cool now. So good night. Um, soldier Ricketts, big up yourself. Renee, Amanda, Jenny. Um, Winston, Kimberly Ebert, big up yourself. First time me I see and I think you know, welcome. Tina Nelson, Manas, Pauline Smith. Zane. So everybody who is present, um, good night. Denmark, brother, brother, big up yourself. Zane, hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Um, hello from Australia. I'm on the front. Oh, we spoke earlier in the week on a particular video. Welcome. Amanda, it's great to have you and big up all of the people in the Australia pretty thing like so. You understand what I say? Zane, good night, sir. Good night, Renee. So, peeps, um, we're there again. Yeah, before me forget, open the make local money over a week and thing. You understand? Because you know things set up, you know, the papers have to stack up. So, peeps, we have a portion of things we talk about tonight, night, yeah. You are sure of your arms. You know, I'm not really sure of my arms. I just feel if you go sleepless tonight, night, I'm not supposed to lease her, Anna. You dig what I say? <laughs> Yo, present teacher, bless for life. Balance, balance. Ah, Rasta D, blessings. Touche, welcome, mama. You understand? Dalphi Irene, welcome. So, peeps, there were a couple of things to chat about tonight. Most of them are things, but one day, though. Um, there is a situation currently ongoing with the JCF and some importation of 200 cars, 400 million dollars, and now the car they can't reach, and then sitting there. You understand? Still on the work in Florida. I appreciate that in Denmark. I appreciate the support, even though the boss, the pony us. You see what I'm saying? So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the government still um, is mismanaging taxpayers' money. Jigger man, bless up yourself, brother, brother. Oh, go on. Welcome, son, man. Time to learn. You know what things set up? Hope you have your book. Your pens. A joke of free speech, brother. Manners and respect. So watch another piece. I'm going to talk about the JCF. Um, O'Brien International Car Sales and Rental debacle and taxpayer money disappearing again. Zane, I talk about um, the Miss Universe thing with Davina being placed third. I talk about Lisa Anna Sleeveless. I'm telling you now, we got sleeveless. Lisa Anna, we think they're in I talk about Rupert Clark. You know, the, the, the man with them dubbed the sex pastor, he has pleaded guilty and will be sentenced on march 18 2018 i think so i talk about that a little may i talk about the grammy nominees as well morgan heritage chronics juna gang big up on yourself so peeps you know where i kick it out but we know many persons are not familiar with what is taking place as it relates to the, the um the the, the the ministry of security attempt to procure 200 used motor vehicles arms look nice laugh out loud welcome devadet good day this it's great to have you and you can't brush in front of her that 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 that, that not at. you see me jay chrissy big up yourself baby girl welcome so peeps may i give you some background info upon that for make you know what i go on before we proceed you understand what i say brother i don't know what i go on more still enough but i still listen i appreciate that brain you know i think uh, happy sabbath teach present article woman big up yourself so listen to this now so i'm gonna put some perspective on this where you say teacher blush you know i think when i smell it to uh jen <laughs> so watch me now in january 2017 o'brien's international car sales rentals limited bid for and was awarded a contract by the ministry of national security to purchase and import 200 used vehicles for the jamaica constabulary force see watch me now peeps the contract was valued at jamaican 226.9 rang 426.9 million dollars peeps are almost half a billion jamaican dollars that you know of which 213 million was paid as deposit Want to know follow our going on, peeps. Zane, yes, Damien Robinson, much love from Arizona. Big up yourself, my brother. Manners and respect. Welcome. Watch me now. Um, that comment mash up your head, teach. <laughs> Watch you now. A week, so, so 
the vehicles had a 90 day delivery period so after the the, the, the the bid was tendered after they were awarded the contract the car should have been delivered in 90 days three months see in sherwood where you say always late but i appreciate it see me watch me now the vehicles were not delivered at the end of the first 90 days the vehicles were delivered late see watch me now the delivery period was to have been 90 days but the first batch of 30 used Toyota Axio vehicles were not delivered and until June 2017. That's a January, February, March, April, May, June, and six months. You know? So three additional months after the first delivery date, you know. See in the vehicles them deliver. And a 200 vehicles will come in and only 30 vehicles reach, you know. So watch you know, peeps. The vehicles that were delivered were not even um to the specification of the JCF. Them not use them vehicle because of some um maintenance issue with some of the vehicles. Them watch me now. A week after the 30 vehicles were delivered, Zane O'Brien's requested a three months extension. Zane, so then you know they were late by three months first, you know. Then after them delivered 30 out of 200, so them still have a hundred and what 70 vehicles left, you know. They went and requested three more months obviously they were granted that so after that three extra months expired they should have furnished the, the jamaica constabulary force with the remaining 106 170 vehicles it is now december and the three months from june would have been july august september it is now december and the vehicles still have not yet been delivered but watch this now it'll get sweeter now o'brien then wrote to the security ministry asking them to have the ministry of finance waive a 16 million dollar custom tax bill to import a further 66 vehicle so out of the remaining 170 is only 66 them are funny one thing about this is the problem now peeps <laughs> i like the gods thanks thanks jay see me so we can't pre you are going to come in it's so circle teach is on his lease and as you come leave for training sure me don't tell us your lisa and i'm come for support tonight you know, but we still talk about lisa so watch it out the contract would have stated that the importers which is o'brien's international vehicle rental whatever them name should have incurred all the shipping and handling costs for the vehicles remember you know the contract was valued at 426.9 call it 427 million dollars so in that sum all the money that they need to clear the cars and pay duties would have been in that sum and Mark, you know, they were paid 213 million dollars as a deposit saying half of the money no them your money we run i don't know o'brien is friends of who in the jamaica labor party or in the ministry of national security but obviously him and smaddy in their friend see and i mean that's something pretty up that because of my money in other 460 you know, in the 427 million dollars my hard earned tax paying dollars so me i got talk about it what you mean it smell corrupt it stink Joker free speech, blessings, Leah Newton, manners and respect, Tajim Benbo, me late, but me finally make it. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's what I say. IP man tree, big up yourself, Miami clocking, manners and respect. So watch me now, no peeps. So they had requested of the Ministry of Security to ask the Ministry of Finance to waive the 16 million dollars tax bill. The Ministry of Finance said no, rightly so. The Ministry of Finance now wrote to O'Brien's Car Sales International on November the second, Zane, telling them them now waive it, Zane, and giving them until November the twenty fourth, two thousand and seventeen, to deliver the remaining. How oh, many are three hundred car? You know, all right, uh, one hundred and seventy car. Zane, it is now December the first, and the cars have not yet been delivered no you tell me after me pay you 213 million dollars see because the first 30 car can't value 230 million dollars 13 million dollars cannot see and you are going to write to me telling me say the only way me can get my vehicles and when me pay you for is if you give me a tax waiver you're mad man you're scamming to the highest level. Simone Bradford, 
late, but you're here. Welcome. I appreciate that. Rated. Big up yourself, brother, brother. What are going on? Jasmine, late, but nevertheless. I appreciate it. You understand? That come. Manners and respect. So, I don't know who them are trying to take for fool, peeps. Zin, how can you award a contract to a bidder? And in that contract, I am sure it would have been stated that you, the importer, would have been responsible for all tax, all custom fees, and all import duties. And then you all come to me, come tell me, say, you want me, we have $16 million after me pay you $213 million already and me only get 30 car, use car. Something fishy about that, peeps. And of them things that we have to talk about. You understand? Maybe a jar back here like our Christmas. Zin, But brother, Jigga, there's no way. There's no way them can justify it. You understand? <laughs> what is it? Maybe a jar back here like our Christmas. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But do the live thing well, brother. Me appreciate that, you know. Our oh, peeps and um, the Rajit show, me YouTube, brother. If you never check out him channel, you need to go over there and support him things. See me. Good people. One of the first you to reach out to me on YouTube when we did that struggle and uh, run up in some copyright issue and, and, and show with certain things. You understand? So good people. Go check him out. Chelsea Hazard, man and Stitch. I respect it. And big up Chelsea. See? Oh, and you know, I don't know if I tell you that before. My daughter's name is Chelsea as well. So, you know, anytime I see the word Chelsea, I kind of have a look of warmness inside of me. <laughs> so, peeps, $427 million out of taxpayers' money is being scammed by some people in the government and them friends. And that basically you go on you see, you know? And many of these dealings, Daviante, big up yourself, Jamie Brown, big up yourself. T from teeth, Jalaf. <laughs> but I don't think they are teeth from teeth, you know, I think they are in collusion and somebody will eat a food down the road out of that thing. You, you understand what I say? So at the end of the day, peeps, we can't allow them things here to continue because these are the things that have been robbing Jamaica of its development and progress down there. Tax overrun there, so um, improper procurement, backdoor deals, all of them something there, them things that help much of the country. Joshua Bins, manners and respect, blessings. Sandman, we can buy 200 car plus that 30 where them buy for right here, from right here in Jamaica with less than that. That's true, you talk, my general. Zane, fool them take with her. And we continue to play the fool as a people. You understand what I mean? I say, Zayn, we bring my one, two, three, and the saddest thing is nothing now. Not now come out of Not a thing I come out of You see what I mean? As Juliet brought up this issue yet. <laughs> I don't know if she brought it up yet, little, but I know it was debated in Parliament in front of the Public Accounts Committee um, earlier in the week. So I don't know if she was present in Parliament at the time. You understand what I mean? I say, so, peeps, I talk about $40 million for a couple of carriers. I talk about $427 million Jamaican dollars. Almost half a billion Jamaican dollars. You understand? So, peeps, boy, I don't know. I don't know. And then you, O'Brien International Car Sales Rentals Limited, even their name sound problematic, have a nerve for right to the government to ask them. I ask them for we have 16 million dollars worth of tax after you get a 427 million dollar contract. So you want so basically you know film contract I got end up to what now? Almost 450 million dollar you know people. And a sykes, you know. Zayn Ufa had a go roll for this. No head now roll gun nowhere. If you know mind sharp, the finance ministry go back. And renege on their, um, their, their, their initial stance and give it to them. Do respect, it can't change. Anything can change. Joke, I mean, I agree with that. Anything can be changed. If I hear them say the one thing that is constant is change, anything can be changed if you have the will, if you have the unity, Zane, and if you're willing to sacrifice to achieve that change. So I don't subscribe to the notion that it can change. I don't agree with that, my general. Big and serious. You understand what I say? So at the end of the day, that's a part of the problem. Yeah, I remember the light bulb scandal, you know. I remember all of them something. I remember um, NetServe with Philip Paul. Well, I remember the housing problem with um, the brother from the Hanover, Dr. Carl Black. I remember, I remember the whole of them. You understand what I say? I understand. 
I mean, understand, say, past events would suggest, say, nothing can change, but it can be. Yeah, I'm telling you why not change because we keep on accepting these politicians after their many follies. That is the problem. And we need for change. I'm better than have to change. You understand? Tanya Stevens saying, man, and all the shit with them, I give away, I take them. And at the end of the day, we let them. So what am I going to do? They are continue to do the crap because we are not holding them accountable. You understand what I say? We can't hold them accountable because we're too tribalistic. If green in a power, if green in a power, the green people them now go look into it and say, yo, you know, say the green side rung up and we need to send them a message. You now go happen. If orange in a power, the orange people them, I go sit down and take whatever the orange people them I give them. Nothing will be done. So until we are delivered from our political tribalistic socialization and way of thinking and living we can't we can't achieve nothing because we're not looking out for the country we are looking out for political allegiance that's the problem you know no man no willing to say yo here we go on even though i am an ardent supporter of the people's national party the jamaica labor party if them rung up and they are not the avenue or the channel where i think the views and ideals of me and most of the Jamaican people are best represented. Them for go. It not happen. PNP till me die. Labour right till me die. Only for die, man. Backside. That 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 that, that medieval thinking there. At that at that a cripple we as a people. If a green a green, if a orange a orange. How about if a sense a sense? We don't think them we hear it. Yeah, that's what I mean. I say. So me I watch it. Me I watch it. Me I watch it. But I know, I saw an article earlier, I'm not even get to delve into it. See? So them I look one next hundred vehicle from a different supplier now. After this man, if you give them 200 vehicle, only give them 30. And over a year now, almost one year now, and in a 90 days, they did deliver them 200 vehicle there. And the police, and look here now, you know the sad thing about it, persons, time would have been lost. Money would have been lost and lives, unfortunately, would have been lost. Because many a times, many police stations around Jamaica get calls and they are unable to respond with any form of expediency to those calls because they don't have the vehicles to respond immediately. And this man sit down for 427 million Jamaican dollars and have the people them money and now uh, give them their care and he's allowed to continue almost 300 damn plus days now and a 90 days him did get and him get a further 210 plus days and nothing and we still sit down come on man come on you understand me i say crap that to the highest degree you see me so them spend couple Hours recently, a child Lisa and about her sleepless, which is wrong because their rules are rules. But we have more pressing things in this country to address. You understand me? I say we have greater issues to deal with than Lisa and her. Um, and them say it's not even a sleeveless. Ladies, correct me if I'm wrong. Them say it's a cap sleeve, but the rules are the rules. But we'll talk about Lisa and her. What I'm saying is that we have more pressing concerns as a nation. You understand we have things that need to be dealt with yesterday and we're still jogging our foot and we are majoring in the minor things you see me the man them for go away everybody i look at christmas food see i'm, I'm telling you in a peep you see a lot of these contracts that are awarded they are awarded to persons with political allegiances and many of these contracts are overstated so if the contract value in terms of the work 200 million dollar the, the, the contractor submit a claim of 250 million dollars so in politician bridging now siphon after 50 million dollars down the road and he probably get the next 10 million out of it i saw the thing running in the country in jamaica the best persons for the job don't get the job you know is my friend get the job me can't see through that yes every man i go look out for them friend but at the end of the day at the end of the day you need to know that you have been entrusted 
with the affairs of an entire nation, not the affairs of your friend. But we sit back and we allow these politicians to feel like they can get away with anything. That's why I made it happy the other day when our oh, when 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 um Web Trevor Web lose him 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 license for him for him gun. I I can't remember how many other times I've seen politicians actually suffer. I mean, no, so it's only for a matter of time or it's for see a face. Politicians have gotten away with murder and worse in this country. Literal murder and worse in this country. See? Well, if cap sleeve and not sleep, well, um, it's not a tailor or just make a sleep. I'm mean, not really okay with the nuances of the fashion industry. But me I see well I show that still. You yeah, understand me I say. But we we soon talk about that. Nepotism, that, that is too good a word. You understand? A robbery. <laughs> so, peeps, we are, we are keep an eye upon that. I mean, no one said, no phone never know said that I go on. See? Especially the persons in the diaspora. People in England, Canada, UK, big up on yourself. You understand? You know, we try to bring the thing to one as best as we can. So, we are watch that, peeps. $427 million, 200 cars. Up to this point, only 30 of those cars have been delivered. What happened to the next? 170. Why me need to pay you or we have 16 million dollar tax when you are earned 427 million dollars already? Man, go with that, O'Brien. I don't know who I am, friend. Zane? Yeah, sure. That Tanya said to me, I really remember it. How we met them. How we let them. So I let crap with them a dish. How we take them. You understand? So it's a little insane when we start complaining. When we are the creator. You see me? Tanya. Genius in a real life. <laughs> so peeps, um, Miss Universe 2017 held in Las Vegas, Nevada. Jamaica's representative Davina Bennett from the parish of Clarendon in Jamaica. We know the situation. We know that she was placed third, which is what? Second runner up. Zane, I don't like that's something. I like me not like hear people use a terminology there. Zane, she was placed third. And many Jamaicans at home and abroad are of the opinion that Miss Bennett should have won. But people are gonna look on and say, Yeah, what go on? Eh, get over it. Jamaicans are gonna say that. But the issue with that now is that many other nationals from all over the world, are in support of the Jamaican stance that Davina Bennett should have been crowned Miss Universe 2017. It wasn't the case. When I read through the comments, Zane, there was a particular comment that jumped out at me. And the comment said, teacher, really, I think is 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 DJ TV. I don't remember exactly what I quote it right. So teacher, really feel like, say, the mother me. She win knowing she's a black woman in a white competition. Where is our black competition? Zane? And that comment they hit me. May I tell you? I sit down and I meditate out and I say, John, no star. The brother, you're onto something, you know. You understand me? I say, but then now, and I said to him, my, my response then, why then invite a predominantly black nation to the, the contest? You understand? His response was for variety and for appear that you are for Africans, as in black people. Brilliant statement again. Me not necessarily pull the race card, Zane, but me I said that comment make a lot of sense. Zane, do we have a Miss Universe for black women? <laughs> Do we think that a dark-skinned woman will ever be crowned Miss World or Miss Universe? Even Jonah Roses. Bless up yourself, my general. Unheal her skin. Crime is pressing. They need to find a way to cut the head of the crime. Are the politicians them? Most of them are the head of the crime. So you have to cut them too. But we we'll talk about that one next time, my general. You understand me, I say? Do you think that we will ever live to see another black president in the United States? You understand what I'm saying? So, 
<laughs> no, no energy, any, but I always wanted to become a military person, you know. But it never worked out how you still. You understand? But I kind of have a look for you at the characteristics them. You understand? And it treats them. Um, Deborah Williams, are you saying that you believe a black woman will win? Or you believe we will see another black president? Or you believe them something there? Late, sir. Andre Dan, big up yourself. See? We have fly, five black Miss Universe. We have that? Oh, I probably gonna need to go do some more research. But when you say black, them, them, them skin, um, come on, them skin dark like for, 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 for. Davina? Hmm? I don't know. I forgot to do the research still. Because I'm willing to learn you know, as a dark skinned girl ever win. Well, um, Rated TV, I say, yeah, five of them and two from Trinidad. Zane, I know him thinking, you know, so I kind of believe him, but I will check it out still. You understand? Oh, yes, a very dark. Oh, so probably we are look too much in it. And the, 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 them dark skin, the Kemar, did where they mix with. Are they from Indian descent? Are them just African dark and uh, natural here, like like um, Davina? Darker, but their ear. Oh, Simon said darker. Welcome, Simon. I'm not to realize here in the building. They are mixed. I think they're mixed too. Zane, I think, I think, I think Davina is probably the contestant who is most African to a progress that far in the competition before. I could be wrong. I am almost sure, even though I can when the Fitzwilliam is African dark, by the way, she was one of the judges. Yeah, oh, she was. But at the end of the day, now how many judges were there? It's a black woman. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Me are learning, me are learning, me are learning, me are learning in a class, you know, that I power, that I brilliant at teaching, you know, you learn as I teach sometimes. Zane, so I'm not necessarily, yes, it's a chump competition. I'm <laughs> not necessarily pull the race car, but I'm saying, and, and 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 as my knowledgeable viewers are suggesting and subscribers are suggesting that black women have won before but black in the sense of being truly true and true african oh you did a top five video i'm check it out bro i'm watch it i'm gonna watch it when i'm done see good video that too interesting <sighs> fine she never will we know in our head who we want to win because we are Jamaican. I mean, hell, you understand. But the thing is that many persons, many persons, a man say a South African girl, they look good, but she dunce. <laughs> so we not call people dunce in our class, sir. <laughs> so what you know, no? The, the support that Davina has received, if TNT girl is mixed, me figure that still. Zane, um, me know what me that say. Yeah, the support that Davina has received from persons who are not Jamaican would suggest to me that persons from a very wide cross section would have seen her as the most worthy victor in that competition. But she didn't win. What we want to say is that she did Jamaican well. And you know the thing that pleased me the most about Davina? Her natural year. Person cuss her up on social media after she win Miss Jamaica Universe. Say, oh, forget about the competition because with the head there and the year there, you cannot win. Well, she never win, but she did very well. And you know what? It's commendable. She remained true to who she was. She did not let public um, pressure or the views of the public and some persons when I appreciate the mystery and them sense of being who they are discouraged her, dissuaded her. She remained true to herself and she went out there, she represented herself, she represented her family and she represented Jamaica and she represented all black women. And that is what makes her a winner for me. So not being placed first is disappointing, yes. But for me, she would have won on so many different levels. How many other women would have had the confidence that that young lady had to go rock her natural Afro year? For the people who want to know me, kind of have a little affinity for natural year. Zane? But it's not just because her ear was natural. It is the confidence that she exuded and demonstrated with her natural ear in front of the entire world. 
and that was commendable to the highest degree here is a young lady who is comfortably in her skin where she not bleach with her ear where she not process and ladies me not a problem blessings 876 relevant manners and respect welcome yes yes i say dante dan big up yourself missy man under the comment i say who oh she reads so far she ugly I choose necessary things for my channel, you know. And that's a spirit of you know. Man, tell me about my mother. Man, tell me if you go suck this and suck that. Because I am saying that here is a lady who deserves more recognition for the stance that she has taken and the confidence that she has as a black woman in this world. You say me the pan. Zane, but at the end of the day, still. To each his own. To each his own. And you realize, people, in the comment section, certain comments can't come through on the channel again. The moment mother in it, the moment sucking it, see, and I'll cut out all of the bad word because a decent people make my thing there. You, know? you realize I kind of move my channel from a particular thing to where I set a particular standard because a substance over hype, you know. And that's my thing there. Zane, I did some thing there. You understand? We well, said Trump owns the competition. You wouldn't give it to her. Oh, me, I learn again, you know. Zane. Um, we are the worst we want either. True. Glad she didn't listen to them. Bubble squad, bubble squid. <laughs> we think it's a bubble squid. So, um, Davina, excellent job. You were awesome and you would have won on so many different levels and you gave black renewed meaning you gave confidence as a black woman renewed meaning and for that and i am i know i'm speaking from most of my subscribers and viewers we appreciate that and you are a real queen big up yourself davina and i wish you all the best uh, i think she's pursuing a degree in marketing at the university of the west indies wish you all the best in your studies and continue to grow and continue to inspire young black girls to make them understand say here we go on no matter what people are say you can be yourself and be somebody in this world. Manners and respect for that. Love. You understand? If you don't know her number, you can squeeze me too. I mean, I'll have to tell her a few things. You see it? I drew up your legs still. <laughs> so, peeps. Davina did well. Our next beauty queen. Perennial beauty queen. Ageless beauty queen. Brilliant beauty queen. Miss. Lisa, Renee, Hannah, me even know her middle name in her peeps. <laughs> peeps, me have mad love for Lisa, Hannah. You know, me today when I think about the topics them, I said to myself, say, you know, Lisa, Anna, um, she, she, she said recently on her Instagram, basically hinting that she will be walking down the aisle soon. You know, she's engaged to um, Sir Richard Lake who is supposedly the owner or the, 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 the chief executive officer of Burger King in Jamaica. Me and say, I'm on Little Caesar to and Popeyes and some him run them. So I don't know where I go on. Zin? Yeah, me, 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 yes, Andre, Dan. I see that, you know, I me, me, me use it in my comment, in my, in my video, review video feed. So watch me, you know. Lisa, me have mad love for Lisa. Yeah, so I me, me, me said to myself this evening, say, you know, it would have been awesome to have seen a world where Lisa, Anna, and Teach Them had a few children. Those would have been lovely kids. <laughs> but peace, before that joke aside, I don't. Lisa, Anna, despite all her eloquence, her elegance, her beauty, her wit, her charm, seemed to always find herself in some form of controversy. You see me? Peeps, talk it through. Tell me. See? Me and Lisa, I know they make good kids. True. Me see it. You understand? <laughs> Article was a boy. <laughs> so Lisa, you know, is never too far away from a public controversy. You understand what I say? And many persons love to hate Lisa, Anna. Some person, I think, is just out of just plain malice and jealousy. See? But Lisa is a beautiful soul. Lisa means no harm. And I think Lisa is an exemplary woman. She is 
somebody who has maintained a certain level of integrity, a certain level of, of liberty that young girls can look at and admire and try to emulate. See? The newest thing now is that she was chided in, in, in Parliament earlier this week for wearing a sleeve. I'm tell us I'm come wear my sleeveless today in support of Lisa. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. But peeps, you see, in everything we do, there are going to be rules and guidelines and regulations that in our head are antiquated, are archaic, and makes no sense. Some people even went as far as saying they are colonial rules and we should get rid of them. Fine. But with that said, and bearing that in mind, whether they are antiquated, outdated, senseless, a rule is a rule. And as a legislator in the country, yeah, Davina did that for true. Especially, you see that yellow just there? Boy, I may tell her. Earth up my head. But watch it. <laughs> Let's not digress. As a legislator, as somebody who people look up to and admire and respect and as somebody who can connect with young ladies in this country and persons of a younger age i don't think that lisa anna meant any harm or she was being openly disrespectful to anybody zane and as many persons have stated very loudly it was a cap sleeve and not a sleeveless. So the cap sleeve is a look. Well, we're going to go look it up here, man. Mr. Mizno, fashion expert. You understand what I say? So, Lisa, one of my colleagues, you know, Shana, Ivy, if you're in the building, big up yourself. So, Lisa, rebel against the OCG and them something there. I thought about it and it, it probably be plausible, but I don't know. Lisa wore it and persons had objections to it. Um, the most vociferous of which was Juliet Cockbert, you know, a former Olympic sprinter, Juliet Cockbert. She is now MP for West Rural St. Andrew, I think. And Juliet Holness, um, who is the MP for St. Andrew West, I think, Zane, who is the wife of Prime Minister Andrew Holness. So they were the persons who were more, most vocal in the criticisms of Lisa Hannah. So much so that they brought it to the attention of the Speaker of the House and Pernell Charles. And Pernell now wrote to Lisa Anna reminding her of the rules that governs grooming and the dress code of Parliament. Section 84A of the Standing Order. And I would have mentioned it in the video that I did. Zin? So yes, yes, me hear the persons who are saying... Uh, East Rural, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, see, me can't, even though my head kind of big, I don't remember everything in a Kimberley, so you have to see with me. Yes, yeah, Sherwood, we are politicians, we are rob people blind, true. They are breaking the law, true. But we are concerned about Lisa Anna's dress, true. Give me a break, true. May I give you the break in a share? But you see, at the end of the day, people still attack, and if people attack, we have to attack. You understand what I say? So watch me now. I'm I wanting to listen to me carefully, you know, peeps. Because I try to be as objective as possible. You know, sometimes I not achieve it. But I try. I try. I try. The rule in the make no sense. The rule they want to revise. See? But at the end of the day, it is a rule. You understand what I say? And that is the fundamental thing right here. So it is a rule. And you break one rule. You break another rule, you break another rule, you break another rule. By the time you're done, you start breaking every rule in the book. So if it is a rule and the standing order points to it, and you know because you would have been educated as to the do's and the don'ts of parliament and dressing, and uh, let me get Lisa Anna is always elegantly dressed. And Lisa Anna to me is a sleeveless type of person. When I did the video, I used almost all the pictures in that video were sleeveless. See? But them say no we got parliament. So no we got parliament. So yes, we know the politicians, I'm sure, I do all sort of things. And that rang up. See? But many things that justify breaking a rule, being how simple it is. Because that's the problem in a share. I'm more, more, more think about this, you know. Many of Jamaican problem, many of the problems in Jamaica now stem from 
very small rules being broken into bigger rules, into bigger rules, into bigger rules. And that's a part of the problem we face as a country. So if it's a rule, it's a rule. Zane, I just, I just decided. Because she, I know he's an educator. And a boy or a girl can't come in your class without certain things. Because it's a rule. You see me? So we have to ensure, say, same stage. Zane, so we have to ensure, say, Despite how we feel about certain things, because there are many things in Jamaican laws that we totally opposed to. But at the end of the day, there are rules. What we need to do is find a will to get some of these rules revised. Or these laws revised. You understand what I mean? Say? So me no one we feel like say people really are just a pick on Lisa. So the rules are the rules, yeah, sir. That, 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 that's my thing. Whether whether I will like the rule, yes or no, it is a rule. And as I say, part of the biggest problem in Jamaica is that we can't we keep accepting people breaking rules because of some small rules. But them small rules that you see, you see, it's the smallest thing that add up over time to become great, you know. And we have to be careful of the precedence that we are setting. See? My point is that we may join. That is true, share. That is true. I may agree with you 100 percent We don't care about robbery. Me, 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 me not think, me not think we're not care, you know. I don't think we don't care still. We're probably not doing enough, nearly enough. But we don't, we don't, we don't, I don't think we don't care. In all honesty. Zane, I mean, understand what you are saying. So we are majored in minor. But what I say, share, people looking on me to understand that a rule is a rule. And I think it's a teachable moment. Zane, to impress upon people, say, here we go. And no matter who you be, no matter how minute or minuscule the rule is, it is a rule. I don't saw things set up. And if you say you know if you do it, you know if you do it, yes, yeah, sir. Lisa, me love you. Zane, bad. <laughs> and I know that you meant no harm. And I know that you are coming from a pure place. And you, as always, tried to uphold the rules and laws of the country. So we're not chastise for that one. Yeah? Zane, we're not crucify you. They make you know we love you. And when you look under the comments, most persons would have been in favor of Lisa and her cap sleep, which is not a problem. I'm say right now, I support Lisa, but the rule are the rule. You see me? I just say thing there, sir. She not like the con conventional politician. Not that true. And I, I, that, many persons hate her for that, you know, in general. Many persons hate her for that. Yes, when you're a radical and you're different. And you kind of divert and divert from the status quo. Many people not like it for that. So people, they know say at 815 if you're done and at 814, you know. So we kind of are run late. So we are gonna try speed up the thing and all. Zane, peace. Me know how many of your family with the with the name Rupert Clark. Rupert Clark is the former Moravian pastor who was arrested on December the 28, 2017 in St. Elizabeth, I think, when he was found in his car in a compromising position with a 15-year-old girl. He was arrested and charged for having sex with a person under the age of 15, and subsequent investigation led to another charge where he also had had sex with another family member, another same family there, under 16 years old. So he was on two charges. We know the Hampton principal got embroiled in the whole controversy as she went to the bail hearing and the Ministry of Education stepped in and was suspend her and all sorts of something. He, earlier this week, pleaded guilty to both counts of sexual encounter with minors. His bail was, however, extended and he will be back in court on March the 18th, 2018 for sentencing. I didn't know, so when they find you guilty, then I normally remind you at the same time. You see, we live and we learn, you know, as, as something you think, if, you're, if you plead guilty for your crime in, for, in front of the court, I think you should be remanded that immediately. I just my thing that. So his bail was extended. The, anybody in here who have um, legal background or knowledge can explain to me how does that work? You understand what I say? A culture we enable these predators. So watch you now. True. Many persons came out and said, oh, him and a rape and leave the past alone and him innocent. innocent. Well, the man saying guilty, yes, sir. Zane. And 
peeps, as, as humans, we are not perfect. The world will falter somewhere in our life at some point in time. And you see me talk about rules again, you know, and laws, you know. We know in Jamaica that the age of consent is presently at age 16. There are cases for and against that. Some people are say 18, some people are say even 21. But as things currently sit, it is 16. How far from 16 is 15? Wait, my brother. If you are caught having sex with a person under the age of 16, you will go to prison. You know, worth it. The man is what? 68 year old. The man should not look for come from prison. I could have went me and go to prison go do at 68, sir. Tia Pops said, good night. Jibba work for your man. Hard work. Hard work, Tia. You understand? And discipline. See? I mean, I appreciate, me appreciate that. Only when you're rich. For serious crimes, you should be reminded. Okay. It's not as low as murder. Oh, I understand what you say, Leonberg. Blessings. Me get that. Me get that. Me get that. Me get that. See? Me appeal to the man them. As Mr. Peeps, you know, we're not perfect. And sometimes you, 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 you're not too know, say, the girl are sick. Some of them girls are really big still. But he knew the family. So I am sure he knew that the girl age was at a particular thing. See? Yeah. Retire in peace, three meals a day, mortgage paid. Eh? <laughs> but if I laugh at a kid, Burley, the girl mother should be charged as well. I think she was charged for some things, you know. I don't remember exactly what, but I don't, don't remember what stage her case is. You understand? The age of consent at 16 is a royal joke. We don't protect our kids. Fine, sure. I understand that. And I guess you're one of the advocates for an increase in the age, so probably 18 or 21. Not a problem. But as things sit now, it is 16. So I suppose that is one of the laws that need to be revisited, I suppose. <clears throat> but me can't uh, some man, and, 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 and this is the thing, you know, some of the man them no want uh, a girl the moment she turns 16. Me can't sit through that. It's like from your ears so she under 16. Your blood just start boil. Come on, no man. It's a pastor. I'm going to spread the word in prison. Probably I'm going to spread more than the word. <laughs> you see me talk about? I can't understand the man them still. Yes, we are man and we act off of impulses sometimes, but it's not worth it. It's not worth it. You see me I say, it can't be worth it. The rule needs to be changed. 16 too young. You understand? He's a sick man. You see? And 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 the problem with this thing is the hypocrisy involved in it. You know? Me guarantee you say every Sunday that brother they go to church, you know, go tell him congregation, say, hey, do not commit fornication, do not commit adultery, do not covet thy neighbor's wife, live good, get married before you start to have sex. You understand? Leave the young girls them alone. Me not judge the man. The man say I'm guilty, yeah. So somebody only can work with what the general said. The boss at 68 is probably facing what? 15 years at least and a two counts. So I don't know what the judge I go do. And I think I Justice Martin Gale, you know, the same judge where, where oh, I'm preside over an injured man case. You know. So that in itself is an next thing. Our key class need to be amended. Fear. No problem with that. Psychological. Dante take the fathers who have to pay support past 16. <laughs> It thing, it thing rough. And then after Rupert Clark was arrested, about one, four to six pastors were, some of them have even been convicted already. Case where I come from 30 years back. You see me? So, peeps, as me I say, it will away, it will away erring judgment from time to time. It will away have missteps. But at the end of the day, what we need to learn to do is learn from people's mistakes. You don't have to learn from your own mistake, you know. You can't learn from the next person's mistake, you know. Come on, man. See? So that's a Rupert Clark, you know. All the best, yes, sir. That, 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 that's something I left it. See? So, peeps. We don't want, we don't want a situation where the man, them, as I say, mistakes are made. But fix up the thing, yes, sir. We we'll live and we we'll learn, and as we get older, we should get more mature and realize that you are going. The thing wrong. No. 
the Grammy nominations for best reggae album were announced recently and three Jamaicans have been nominated. Five persons have been nominated in the reggae category. Um, Jay Boog from California and uh, King's Common from Hawaii. Those are the two non-Jamaican nominees. The three Jamaican nominees are Morgan's Heritage for their album um, Ava, Avra Kedabra. I hope I got that right. Juna Gang for Stony Hill and Chronix for Chronology. Awesome. I think that the Grammy um, committee got it right this year. Last year, I think that the best album produced by a Jamaican was Agent Sasko's Theory to Regativity. And I know that because people are my favor Sasko, but Sasko's album was the best album outside of coming out of Jamaica last year. It was not even nominated. See? No, I know that many persons are saying Damien Juna Gang Marley is one of the nominees. Well, I said, there's no sound. I could have why. Peeps, you hear me? Robert Phillips, I said, there's no sound. That's not good. Can you hear me now? So before I go any further, let me see if sound is going in a dance. Because you dance can't keep on no sound now playing. I have both Chronix and Junior Gang's album. Yeah, nice. I say, I hope Chronix win. Zin, so watch this now. Yeah, and as me I said, I wrap my up on the peeps. Junior Gang has won two times. We say, Lord, hearing. I can hear you. I don't know I'm to um, Robert thing. Robert, sort out the thing, let me general. Um, so Junior Gang has won twice. But having won twice, don't negate the fact that if your album is the best album, you deserve to win again. Zin, however, I know that many Jamaicans are in favor of Chronix winning. Because he's very young, he has been putting in the work for a couple of years, and he is somebody who has been flying the flag for reggae music globally for Jamaica. And people just generally love Chronix. See? The Marlies will always get it, no matter how good the others are. Ah, uh, Mr. Marlies, them lose already still in a um, dev. See? Me say, People winning while the Marlies have been nominated, but generally them get it for true. But watch me now. And I say leave it here. So I know many Jamaicans are in favor of Chronix winning. But any one of the three Jamaicans then will win. A three Grammy Damian win, him, him win for half a three, him win for welcome to Jamra. I don't know if he's winning again. He win again? I think a two. Eh? I don't know. So the Grammy I mean, um, the Grammy Award ceremony will be. I think sometime January 2018. So congrats again to the to Margaret's Heritage. Congrats to Junior Gang. Congrats to Chronix for their nomination. Hopefully, and with the so we want Chronix or Junior Gang to win. And hopefully, I want Jamaica to win. So J Bo and 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 King Commons can stay with them there, sir. I want a Jamaican to win. My choice, having listened to both albums. My choice would be Junior Gang. However, however, I would prefer Chronix winning for a couple of other reasons. You understand what I mean? I just my thing that. But for me, Gang album more appeal to what me appreciating an album a little bit more than Chronix's album. Zane, however, Chronic's album is a wonderful body of work and it would be deserving of the Grammy, just to see him. But Chronic's would be great for showing, say, here we one, good music has its rewards. Chronic's would be great to show that you don't have to be all in the music for winning a Grammy. Chronic's winning would say to aspiring musician, here's a youth who has remained true to himself, who has not run down the hype and who have stuck to producing quality music consistently and he's been rewarded so chronics winning would have more benefit for jamaican music than junior gang in my honest opinion yes man said gaza for weed <laughs> oh. <laughs> me don't laugh me don't laugh <laughs> you see me so peeps, 
all the best to Kranix, all the best to Junior Gang, all the best to Morgan. I think Morgan Heritage won in 2016. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, or 2015, I don't remember. Zane, so peace. That's the situation. Um, class kind of run over, Zane. But you don't know how things set up still. Appreciate the support of everybody who dropping on the thing tonight. But you know, we do a small recap. JCF, um, Giman Clanchak, O'Neill's International Car Sales and Rentals Limited. My member out to the head and all was awarded a contract of 426.9 million Jamaican dollars to import 200 used cars for the JCF in 90 days. The first 90 days come and gone, it took them 90 more days to deliver 30 cars. So it means 170 cars still left. See, them asked the three month extension, the three month extension done and gone at three more months. Them still not deliver the care of them. Them have 66 care upon the wharf where they need $16 million to clear after the government gave them $213 million deposit. Them write to the government to ask them to waive that $16 million there. So basically, they would then get about $450 million in a Jamaica taxpayer money. After months upon months being late and police have to ride bicycle, go a crime scene, and not care for drive. And nobody's been held responsible. Zane? That means for be sorted out. Me, me, me stay upon that. Davina Bennett, awesome. Even though you, you did not win the crown, you would have won hearts, you would have won respect, you would have won admiration, and you would have won love. And you would have become a symbol to young girls in Jamaica, making them know, say, you don't need to bleach your skin. You don't need to process a year. You can be who you are, remain true to yourself, and become somebody in this life. Awesome. Lisa Anna, I love you. So, my heart, see? But if they say, no, we're not sleeveless. No, no we're not sleeveless, mommy. You understand? See? That's the thing there. Rupert Clark, Anglia Business. Cranix, BM and Junior Gang Wally, Morgan's Heritage. Big up on yourself. Um, well done. Quality work. And I hope one of you guys win. But me then prefer Cranix winning for a number of reasons. Yeah, basically, man, I'm a right guy, crime scene. You man, I don't care if you drive, go there. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> Peace be I said that I true, but I seriously it think it thinks that way. And Jamaicans will continue to lose their lives because the police are not able to respond with any form of expediency to calls because they don't have the vehicles to do so. He's a Marley, and that's how people feel. Well, me understand me saying a sim. Me, me, me get what you say. See? So all the persons who took time out of their busy Friday evening to spend some time and watch a thing, I appreciate to you know like that. Zane, manners and respect every time. I wish for you guys cover them arms now. I don't want them girls get you in trouble. <laughs> yeah, they want to do that real quick. You see what I say? See it? And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. You know what I mean? I say, have a drink. Don't overdo it. Get something nice to eat. Spend some time with your family and your friends. And, and, and rest a little. You understand what I mean? I say, be safe, be wise. You know, certain places just don't go. Be observant and stay safe. You know, we'll do this again Sunday evening, 4 p.m. So after I'm done, cook the rice and peas. You know, we we'll sit down and chat a little again about some other things. And we keep the thing moving. So all the persons who are here, appreciated. Zane, manners and respect. I'm a love, you know. I appreciate, you know. I'm a respect, you know. Lisa, big up yourself, mommy. <laughs> Peeps, have a good weekend. We'll talk to you soon. Manners and respect. Everybody, Paul Eden Smith, Joker Free Speech, Dr. A, Article Woman, Sherwood, Zane, all of the people in one of the building, Dalphia Henry, Jenny Wren, Zane, Simone Bradford, Joya Synth, Daly, J. Chrissy, Daviante, everybody, big up on yourself. Maggie Edwards, my sister, big up yourself. You see, I link you up a little more. Leon Burke, Manners and Respect. Zane TFAB, everybody. Me can't call you all I need. Call it about one next half an hour. I don't know how things are up. Have a good weekend, guys. And I'll see you on Sunday, 4 p.m. Remember, you know, 7 o'clock. Mad. I'm out.